scanners. Some people have them, some people do not, and you know who you are. So today we are getting to the root of some of the biggest etiquette no-nos that drive us nuts. To find out what they are, we sent comedian John Murray out on the streets of New York. Take a look. Questions, questions, who's got questions? Minding manners and fixing problems. And tell me what's the problem you're having today. And there's this girl next to me. All right. She's chewing gum. You have a noisy neighbor. Going out to dinner with, like, my boyfriend. OK. Is it OK for me to let him know I don't like it if he, like, tries to feed me? Like, if he tries he's, like, to, like, He's, like, force feeding you like you're yeah, a child? Yeah, like I'm a he's child. Been, he's been romantic? Yeah, but it makes me uncomfortable. You don't like it? Yeah, I don't like it. Tell your boyfriend, honey, you can feed me privately. OK. Because, you know, the other thing is you don't want your mind to start thinking about that intimate time. <laughs> that prayer. <laughs> I had a guest come to my home okay. and say that they were going to be there for a couple of weeks, and then they ended up staying a lot longer. That was a new roommate situation. It, it sure was. Put out some driving directions to the local Motel 6. You know, they always <laughs> keep the light on there. When I get off a busy train, okay. passengers getting on, Okay. you know, plummel through, what should I do? Get your shoulder game up to get off those trains. Yeah, that's right. Get off that train, man. Apparently, we have really bad manners. Folks are not using good etiquette, so I tried to save a few souls, and let's hope it catches on. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Please welcome John Murray. Thank you. We are back with our etiquette panel, the editor-in-chief of AlwaysAList.com, John Murray, star of The Real Housewives of New York City, Countess Luann DeLessops, an etiquette expert and author of Let Crazy Be Crazy, Elaine Swan. <laughs> All right, guys. Time for our audience quick take. So who has the first question? Hi. Hi. Um, I'd like to know if it's proper to bring home food or wine that you've brought to someone's party. At the end of the party, you take back what you brought? No. <laughs> <laughs> People do it to me. They do. I don't do it. What? <laughs> wow. Oh my God. They, you have to work they, on that they, guest list. Yeah, then they, then they are rude. If you bring something to somebody's house for a party, then you leave it there. You don't take home for yourself. I think it depends on. Um, no, I, 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 I think it depends on the host because no. some people don't like to keep all that food and stuff there, so they're like everybody but takes that's some. One thing if the but host says. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. Well, I mean, says. you didn't give me permission, but I have aluminum foil. I'm taking the sandwiches that are in my dressing room. <laughs> no, that, that you can do. Those were there for you. Oh, okay. Those were there for you specifically. Yeah, but no. that's, that's like bringing a bottle. That's like bringing a bottle for them and saying, "Let's crack it open." No, right. <laughs> it's, it's a, a gift. gift. It's, it's a, a gift. gift. You yeah. don't get. That's you don't give. If I you think give it a gift, on the host. you don't take it back. No, no. the host offered to. If you. I don't want you to keep all this stuff in my house, and I say take the, take it in the Tupperware, that's, you take different. it in the Tupperware. That's, that's different. different. That's different. If you see somebody walking out with a crate of wine, where are you going to stop them? <laughs> right? Look, like, what happened to that I'm going to give you a set of instructions when you come to my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I think that's what most hosts should do. They should tell you this is the protocol of the evening. Okay. No, okay, don't, well, don't take stuff back. You that's, know that's, right. That goes a little bit too far. I think, yeah. I think people know enough that when they're invited to a home that they should bring a little something. And it doesn't have to be expensive. No, and just, just the leave thought it. that counts. It doesn't have to be wine. It can be, you know, I, sometimes I'll cut flowers in the garden. Right, a little soaps for the bathroom, so whatever everything. it is. Yeah. Right. It's, when a, you it's bring a gesture. It, All right. When you bring it, leave it. Leave, leave it. it. All right. Octavia, where's Octavia? Hi, Octavia. Hi. I'd like to know, do you tell your coworkers that they smell funny or maybe they're wearing too much perfume or cologne? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yes. I, I, you can have, do have you, that. Have you uh, yeah, done you it? Can, oh, yeah. There's, you, in my book, I tell you how to talk to somebody and tell them their breath stinks. So, yeah, you can tell anybody anything. So, how would you tell how, how, how do you do that? You I just want pull to know. Them to the side. <laughs> a couple of things. You pull them to the side, okay? And, and make sure that you don't do it in front of other people because you don't want to embarrass them. Right. Pull them to the side and then let them know. You know, I'm not quite sh sure if you know or not, but, you know, your perfume's too small, you know, you, you have BO or whatever it is. But you can do Ooh. it. You just have to do I, it discreetly. I, I, think the, I think if it's in a work environment, you go to human resources. Because, no, 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 you which, do Which that. you don't want to do. I'm serious, because here's the thing. If you go no. to the wrong person and tell them, hey, your arm stinks, no. it, you know, now you're wrestling around on the floor like the WWE superstars. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. <laughs> so go to human resources right. so they're no longer... We live in you a litigious no, no, society. No, 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 that's true. Human resources, but that's after you've tried, uh -uh, and it's really... I'm telling you nothing. What about me? I, I have a good story for okay. you. I okay. had a doctor. I used to live in Europe, and this doctor, don't even... Ask, he just had the worst B.O. Uh-oh. And so, I, you know, it, it, I, oh, yeah. And I thought about it, you know, time and time again, and I thought, what am I going to do? 
And finally, we decided that we would send him an anonymous note. <laughs> that says, check yourself, kind of thing. And he still didn't get the hint, by the way. But anyway, and I feel like if there's like a strong perfume problem, you could say something like, you know, I'm allergic to certain That's a good well, well, our producer, Abby, who so, produced this segment, she has asthma. She right? really is. She's she can asthmatic. have an attack. So, so you can make up, you know, kind of make it up. And right. I think it's a kind of a polite way to kind of right. back right. up. You back can away. even say to the person, you know, I'm not sure if it's the medic medication you're on or something that might, that's giving off an odor. Right. <laughs> Which is possible. <laughs> or, or, you can, or you can bring them a gift bag of like Bath and Body Works products. No. <laughs> and maybe, maybe, maybe suggest a gargle with a little Light soil or something. Yeah. Bring it the next time you're invited to their house. You kill the birds <laughs> with one stone. Thank you to all of our experts. So great to have you here. We'll be right back.